You ready? Ready. Oh, Glee, y'all trying to make me cry. Y'all trying to make me cry these eyelashes off. All, one of them already falling off. Now you're trying to make the other one come off Once too. Upon a time. Oh, this is so sweet. Oh my God, so. This might be, this might be, um, this might be one of my favorite episodes. This was a very, very good, very emotional ass episode. So, okay. So let's start from the beginning, right? Um, Puck, Quinn, and Finn. This is getting really, really like sad. It's getting, I mean, it was sad from the beginning because it's like, Finn is literally just out here thinking that he is having a baby and the whole time the baby is his best friend and he is, Finn is actually really sweet even though he's a little bit of, you know, a little bit of an airhead, but he's really sweet. Like he's trying his best to take care of this situation. With Quinn, it's just my only issue with him is, um, sir, are you with her or are you trying to get with Rachel? Like you literally, you're you're flirting with this girl in front of Quinn, in front of your baby mama. Like, what are you doing? Like, if you're gonna be with Quinn in this baby, be with Quinn in this baby. If you're not, just go ahead with Rachel. But I guess. And then you got Puck over here. I don't know what Puck wants to do. Do you want to be in the baby's life? Do you want to do? He's talking like he wants this family. So. Is it gonna happen? So, cause I already know that, you know, Quinn and Finn are not gonna stay together because, you know, eventually him and um him and Rachel are gonna end up together. So is Puck and Quinn gonna end up together and be a family? Well, well, technically, the baby is supposed to go to mrs schuster so i don't even know what that's gonna like what what's gonna happen with that you know what i'm saying if that even if that is even going to happen um sue and becky i was not 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 expecting for sue to have a sister i think she said it was her sister right or a cousin i think she said her sister he was her sister i was not expecting for sue to have a sister with down syndrome that is why she is treating that is why she's treating becky like a regular person you know what i'm saying because of her sister i really love how they slipped that in there i really love how they slipped that in there because that was so sweet so nice and who knows what um sue's sister has told her she probably have told her like sue like yes i have down syndrome but i want to be treated like a normal person like don't let this disability make you treat me like a handicap like i want to be treated like anybody else or you know sue having a sister with down syndrome she probably sees her as a regular everyday normal person you know what i'm saying and oh my god that was really sweet <clears throat> That was really sweet that they slipped that in there like that. I really, I love that they did that because that just shows like a sweet, soft side to Sue. That really showed a really sweet and soft side to Sue and I love how they just caught you off guard with that. Um, I'm sorry, I forgot their names. I, ha I, don't, I don't remember everyone's name, even though they didn't say it like probably 10 times in this episode, but um tina i think the girl with the stutter and then um i can't remember his name but you know the boy that's in the wheelchair i don't know i hope they get together because i kind of i already kind of seen like okay they have like a little bit of a they got some chemistry going on i understand his disappointment with her not, with her faking her stutter you know what i'm saying he accepted her for that and I don't know. I hope he can look past the fact that she lied about it. And I hope that they could have something. Because I actually kind of like that ship. You know? I mean, I, I, I guess I can understand the disappointment of her faking her stutter. But I don't know. She seems to really like him. 
And then, um, okay, so despite the fact that uh, Kurt pretty much threw the audition or the competition or whatever with um, with Rachel, who do you think sounded the best? Now, I think he was serious up until the point where he threw his voice out or, you know, messed up a little bit. I think he was serious the whole time up until that point. But to me, in my opinion, even if he was to be serious and he finished the song off perfectly, you know what I'm saying, without throwing it, in my opinion, I feel like Rachel sounded better to me. Rachel has like this Disney princess kind of voice where it's just very, very Disney, Disney-y, Disney, Disney-like. <laughs> I don't know. She just sounds really good. She's, she has that nice Broadway type of mousy. It's kind of mousy. I'll be honest. It's, it's, it's really mousy, but it sounds good. It sounds like every Disney movie I've watched, but, um, yeah, I love this episode. This is a really, really good episode. As you can see, I had a lot to say because a lot of things, you know, it, it was a lot. It was a lot. It was, it's a good conversation piece, um, good conversation episode. So yeah, let's continue the conversation down in the comments, guys. Tell me what you thought of this episode. What did you think of the, um, what they call it, the diva off or the whatever between um, Rachel and Kurt? Who did you think sounded better? And yeah, let's get the conversation going, guys, and I will see you in the next episode.